All right, let's get started. Welcome everyone to today's webinar titled Code Beamer ALM and IBM Doors Working Together Via Doors Bridge. My name is Ben Hurumpili. I'm a pre-sales uh, consultant here at Inland Software, and I'm going to be your host today. Let's see what's on the agenda. This is what I'm going to be talking about first. Um, legacy requirements management processes and tools um, and requirements management and embedded software. Then the second topic is going to be the limitations of IBM Doors and IBM Doors Next Generation. Finally, benefits of switching to integrated ALM and Doors Bridge specifically, how, migrate, how you can migrate your data to CodeBeam or ALM, which will then be followed by a live demonstration of our Doors native bridge. A few words about our webinar. <clears throat> As always, the live demonstration will be followed by a Q&A session, and a recording of this webinar will be available on our website, just like every other webinar's recording. Um, at this, on our website, you can also register for upcoming webinars and events. Um, next week, we're gonna be ta talking about the Scaled Agile Framework safe reloaded after that we're going to be introducing one week after that we're going to be introducing our uh gamp template for the farm industry and we'll also be you can also find us on any of these events in june that you see here medconf nord 2017 automotive testing expo europe and embedded testing okay so um, first of all, one of the most important and fundamental aspects of developing embedded software is requirements management. Uh, requirements engineering has a significant role in managing and documenting software requirements and in improving products development when used correctly. The efficiency and accuracy of this process is vital to project success as bad requirements management is actually the single biggest reason for, pro for project failure. Traditionally, many software developers have used general purpose tools such as Microsoft Word and Excel to manage the requirements of whatever software products they were working on. In fact, a surprisingly high percentage of companies still take, stick to these solutions despite their obvious disadvantages. So while at first it may seem like they have the reasons to continue using these suboptimal solutions, most companies that do finally make the transition to a more advanced requirements management platform quickly realize the benefits it brings. Today, IBM Rational Doors is the de facto standard for large enterprises, especially in the automotive industry, and is widely used as a requirements management solution. Due to its heavy architecture and over um, complicated ways, though, Doors doesn't seem to be the most agile, flexible, convenient, or efficient solution on the market. Especially with multiple parallel life cycles, managing the complexity of your development process is a difficult task. Coordinating the work of several teams on different locations using different development methodologies requires the right integrated software solution like CodeBeamer. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about doors. So before I talk about the limitations, um, let me begin with the pros. So first of all, um, IBM Doors now has a web-based system called IBM Doors Next Generation, which comes with all of the obvious favorable properties. You don't have to install anything and you can reach your system from anywhere as long as you have internet and their fast and responsive support is also an important benefit. They undoubtedly have a wide array of functions, but this also brings me to my um, next point, their cons. So I guess partly because of having so many functions, their interface is pretty clunky, especially at first glance, and it's not very intuitive. And it's pretty difficult to configure. I read that many people needed external consultation to set up their system. You can see one of the reviews on G2 Crowd quoted here on the slide. Um, yeah, and they also have a lot of separate tool sets which integrate well, but are still needed for the entire ALM suite that CodeBeam provides in one holistic solution. And last but not least, it's definitely not cheap, especially compared to CodeBeamer. Okay, um, and then uh, the benefits of switching to integrated ALM. So while transitioning from one system to an, uh, on another always has its challenges, the benefits definitely outweigh the difficulties that you may encounter. Advantages of integrated ALM include improved traceability, simplified review and rating processes, as well as the ability to automatically link baseline requirements to test cases. 
And like I said, bad requirements management is the single biggest reason for project failure. So if your requirements management tool is state of the art, like CodeBeamer, you've just conquered the most important obstacle needed for project success. Also, while you may have your ALM system integrated with several other tools, advanced application lifecycle platforms offer many integration points. And this allows you to choose what previously used pieces of software you'd rather keep and which ones you'd want to replace um, with CodeBeamer's powerful features, for example. The ones you can keep, the ones you keep can be simply connected to your ALM with their data channeled into your central repository. So as in most cases, a transition like this will have all the usual challenges. The cost and energy needed for transitioning and change management is a necessary evil, but in this case, it's definitely worth in the long run. Return on investment is the only thing that matters. So never mind the price, take care of the cost. Okay, CodeBeamer Stores Bridge provides gapless traceability and data consistency across tools, meaning you don't even necessarily have to stop using your IBM solution that is integrated into your enterprise-wide system. So making sure your teams are using the right tool set can mean the edge over competitors in an evolving, fast-paced, and ever more agile development environment, where your teams are working hard to develop quality software products as fast as possible. Collaboration. Uh, efficient change management and data consistency are all instrumental in reducing time to market and maintaining the high quality of your product. So while enterprise scale solutions such as I the IBM software suite may support high level process management, the different teams and environments may benefit from different tools when it comes to day to day work processes. And with adequate integration, you can achieve the benefits of using advanced solutions without the drawbacks of using several tools in your development. CodeBeamer's Doors Bridge helps make sure all your teams are able to work with up-to-date data at all times while still taking advantage of CodeBeamer's state-of-the-art ALM capabilities. So to summarize, CodeBeamer is a flexible and highly adaptable ALM solution that grows with the needs of your team, department, or organization. Its scalability is industry-proven, and due to its advanced capabilities, CodeBeamer helps you streamline your legacy processes for increased efficiency and productivity. All right, and let's see what this looks like in CodeBeamer. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in CodeBeamer now. It's browser-based. And let me jump into our Doors Bridge demonstration project. So what you will see here is um, each project has a home, home wiki page, kind of a home page or a knowledge base for the project so everybody can stay up to date on what they need to do in that project. All of the members know what they have to do, the processes are defined here and things like that. Documents can be uploaded, but the centerpiece of CodeBeamer are the trackers. That's where everything is tracked and they're kind of folders for all of your artifacts and your items. So this is a very simple, very uh, basic project I have set up here. And it's just to show you, if I go into my customer requirement specifications, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I can import and re-import multiple doors modules, including tables, OLEs, links, uh, history, discussions, things like that. Okay, so what I have here, if I jump into um, doors, actually, I'm gonna jump into, yeah, I'm gonna switch to doors, um, and I'm gonna show you the module or the requirements document that I'm going to be importing from doors into CodeBeamer. So as you can see, I have a bunch of pictures, tables, descriptions, and things like that. And this is the document, the requirements document that I'm gonna be importing from doors into CodeBeamer. So all I have to do is here first, I can also start just adding, using CodeBeamer right away and just start adding requirements or import from a Recif file. That's also a possibility or Word or Excel. But in this case, I'm gonna select import from doors. And I see that there's no doors formal module associated with this tracker yet, and I have to configure it. So I just click on yes. I have to define my server and my doors username and password. And then I can test the connection. Valid doors bridge server, great. And I can select which module I can actually, I want to import. So I'm now accessing the doors instance I have here. And I can also preview all of the modules to see which one I want to um, import. So I can access this, this is all um, 
this is what I have indoors. I can preview that and I can just select which module I want to import. So I'm going to just click on OK. And here now I also have the option to um, include attachments. I'm definitely going to select that. Users with their history. So that's important if I want to have full traceability. I can import everything that I did in indoors into here, into CodeBeamer. And discussions will be imported as comments into CodeBeamer. Okay, so if I click on OK, I can actually see an overview. When was the last import done? Never. Um, I can also select all baselines that I want that I from from the past that I want to import, or I can set up the settings again. But this is okay. I'm going to accept this, and I'm just going to proceed with the import. And here I see an overview of how many items were created, how many attachments, and how much history was imported. So I click on OK. And now I see that everything has been imported. <clears throat> so if I scroll down, you can see that I can now start working with this in CodeBeamer. And I've also imported, so this is a basic completely blank project. And if I open a, a requirement, for example, a detailed view, I go down to the history tab I can see all the history that's been imported from doors so these are users that have been imported from doors and the history that happened that I changed in doors okay and um, so yeah this is one option and then I can also re-import so if I go back into doors and I make some changes in doors I can also re-import that whenever I want so let's say I've been using this one, so I'm going to delete this information here, for example. Just a very short change, so you can see. I'm going to save it, and then I can go back into CodeBeamer and execute and import again. I can see when was the last import, who it was imported by, and in the history I can also see what was imported. I can also see the settings of that import. So I can see all of the history of all of the imports. And I'm just going to re-import this and import the newest one. So I see updated, one item was updated and one history was imported, obviously because I changed something indoors. If I click on it, I can see the old and new value that was changed indoors. Okay, and if I click on OK, then it will refresh. And here is the updated item that I have right here and that I imported the um, information from. Okay, so that's basically how it works. But you can also expand on this. So this was a very basic project that I have set up here. This is just for requirements management, but this can be expanded to if I want to say um, I can switch to another user. So I'm going to say I've switched to another instance. And here I'm actually a system admin and I'm going to go into the same project doors bridge. And as you can see, I have an admin tab. Um, I have a few more options here. So if I go into what I just imported, this requirements document, what I can do is I can send this up to a review, for example. So I can say send to review and I can create a review of this document. Um, I can collaborate with a bunch of people on here and, um, I can also expand this into with a reporting, so a reports feature is also included. Um, test management can be expanded. So, and actually, just so you know, CodeBeamer is actually actively tested to handle 40,000 plus requirements in one single document. So, in one single tracker, it's tested for 40,000 plus requirements. We actually also have a webinar about this, another webinar that you can check out on our website. And for the entire system, it's also tested for 10 million artifacts. So it's very scalable. Um, small teams of a couple of users, thousands of users can use Copium very successfully. Okay, so um, we actually have service and consulting to we provide service and consulting to tailor this doors bridge exactly to your needs. So um, if you want, you can get in touch with our sales team. And now um, if you have any questions, I'll be answering them.
Okay, so I have one question. Traditionally, if we were to use other AM tools, they would have to use Recif, which would have taken days. Yeah, so that's basically true. So this is the only requirements management tool to have this feature, to have this native doors bridge where you can, in minutes, import thousands of requirements, basically. So in this, how to get the data back to doors? Um, currently, it's just a one-way import. So we're, we're working on a round trip, which we will be able to um, round trip back to doors and then back to code beamer. But currently it's just a one way import from doors. Okay, um, any other questions? What about the hierarchy? Is this also important? So yes, the hierarchy is also important if you have it set up indoors that way. Um, with Recip, I get problems with the description. Is this normal? I cannot change it after import. Um, honestly, I don't know. I would have to check what exactly is the problem with um, your Recip import. But this is actually why we created because Recif is not the best solution. And that's the only thing that is on the market right now. And that's why we created this native doors bridge. So you wouldn't have to use Recif. But I'd have to check specifically what would be the problem of um, importing the description. Uh, anybody have any other questions? When do you expect the round trip? Um, I'm not exactly sure when it's expected to be on our own map. I know probably end of this year at the soonest, maybe, but I'm not 100% sure when, when that will be finished. It's on our roadmap. It's pretty high in our priority list, but I can't say for sure when it will be completed. I, I can get back to you on that. Maybe I can ask specifically when we're planning to release that. How to get the feature now? So I believe it's um, it's only part of 8.2. Um, and there is going to probably be a consulting and setup fee. You can get in. You can get in contact with our uh, sales team, and they can they can tell you exactly how. Okay. Well, so what happens if I change the imported requirements in the code beamer? Do they become overwritten with the next synchronization with doors? Yeah. So uh, you take over the import once. And then they, it will be overwritten if you import again. So then it's kind of for a, a transition or a migration to CodeBeamer ALM because there's just so much more that you can do with CodeBeamer in, with, in comparison with doors that it's more for a migration. But that's what this round trip is what we're working on. So where it's going to be an export import, not just the import. Okay, um, anybody have any other questions? If you have questions about pricing and how to access the feature and things like that, I just get in contact with our sales department, sales at inland.com, and they can um, tell you everything about that. Otherwise, if there's no other questions, thank you for your attention. Thanks for your questions. Um, see you guys next week, and everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.